guys, uh, Lisa here or The Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good afternoon, I was going to say good morning, good afternoon or good night, whatever time of day it is that you are watching this. I hope it's a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me and I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. Today I have another Diamond Art Club new release roundup. What I'm going to do in this video is go over the releases Diamond Art Club has previewed through the week, give my thoughts and opinions, let you know who the sneak peeker is, and I will also provide the links to each sneak peek in the description box of this video. So make sure to check those out as well and show our Diamond Art Club sneak peekers some love. Little bit of a disclaimer, you're noticing probably that my face is not up on screen. If you've been around my channel, you know I have a lot of health problems and I have some really bad days. Today is a bad day. So instead of not producing a video at all this week, I thought what I would do is just do it with my voice. I've had three days of medical appointments and they have me completely worn out and in pain. So this week I am going to just go over these with my voice and yeah, you'll still get the same great content. Just uh, you're not gonna see me, but I'm here. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. We have quite a few images to go through. Uh, if you did not know, this is Diamond Art Club's business page on Facebook. If you search in Diamond Art Club, look for this uh, logo here in the circle. Click that page. Make sure you like it to follow it. This is the page where Diamond Art Club gives us previews during the week for each release that is coming out. I am going to scroll down to the start of this week's releases. And I'm going to quickly touch on their Wednesday release. So sometimes Diamond Art Club has a special Wednesday release. And this past week we had one. I myself picked up one of the mystery kits. I picked up the Jeremiah Kettner mystery. And yes, I do know the image. I am one of those people that must know because I'm quite particular in what I diamond paint and uh, what colors I diamond paint as well. I like really bright paintings versus very dark paintings. When they do Wednesday releases, we do not start seeing the sneak peeks for the weekend until after that. So we have quite a few images to go through in a short time period. What I am doing, I'm actually filming this part of the video on Thursday evening. I'm gonna go through uh, all of the images I can and then at the end, I will tag in the other ones. When you have medical appointments, you never know how long they're going to be and how late everything is and how exhausted you're going to be after. So I figured I would get a head start this week. Now, I only know at time of filming two people who are doing sneak peeks. I don't know the other ones yet, but what I will do is insert their names on screen during editing if their sneak peeks are available. Now, sometimes sneak peeks do not arrive in time to creators. And if that's the case, I will then update the description box of the video when they are available. So if there's any sneak peeks missing, just check that description box. I will update it as soon as I am made aware of the other sneak peeks, but uh, that's just a forewarning. Anyways, here is our first image of the week. And this is actually an image that I did the sneak peek of. So if you haven't checked out my sneak peek, again, the link will be in the description box of the video. I am the diamond stitcher or Elisa. And uh, this sneak peek is special because I actually had enough time to reach out to the artist and she also had enough time to send me over a clip. So my sneak peek will have a message from the artist, but here is her beautiful artwork that is releasing this week. This image actually came to her in a dream and I think it is just so beautiful. I love the color palette of this painting. I love the different shades of blue and the purples and the pops of white and the floral elements. It's just such a beautiful painting. Let's take a look at what Diamond Art Club has said about this painting. So their description says, curl up admits the twinkling stars in a cosmic garden. Whisper your wishes to the sleek and stealthy guardian of the night. So this painting does feature a beautiful black panther. It's titled Keeper of Constellations and the artist is Andrea Tramutolo. It will be in a 30 by 22 inch or 76 centimeter by 55.8 centimeter. So that's the perfect size. 
not too big, not too small. It's also going to be a round diamond. So there you go, round diamond lovers. And it's going to have 44 colors, including two ABs and three fairy dust. Of course, I know where the special diamonds are in this one. They are actually going to be spread throughout the painting. I do show you in the actual sneak peek, but we'll see some white and blue ABs. And we have two shades of blue fairy dust and a tan color as well. Next, we have this beautiful landscape here. This one is full of a rainbow of colors. I am loving it. I would actually love a world where there were purple trees. I think that would be so, so pretty. Let's take a look at what Diamond Art Club has said. Dive into a symphony of colors with waters that mirror nature's rainbow palette. Float along the river, taking in each gradient hue of life's perpetual change. It's titled Turning of the Seasons by artist Denise Dundon or Sagebrush. It measures 31.5 by 23.6 inches or it's an 80 centimeter by 60 centimeter. So it's going to be, of course, uh, longer in the width like most landscapes are. It's a square diamond painting with 75 colors, including four ABs and two fairy dust colors. Now, I'm not quite sure who has the sneak peek of this one, but I will pop their name up on screen if there is one. So let me just remind myself, what did I just say? Four ABs and two fairy dust. So a painting like this, it's hard to guess where they would put the special diamonds. I have a feeling they're also going to be spread throughout this entire painting. In the reflection of the water, we probably do have some ABs in there. Let me actually see if I can move this up a bit. There we go. Yes, in the reflection, there are probably some ABs, maybe even some fairy dust. And then I wouldn't be surprised if there's some fairy dust in the different colors of the trees just to make areas pop and shimmer. If you did not know, Diamond Art Club is also in the process of adding new DMC colors to the color list. Anytime you see a 6,000 DMC number, that is a color specific to Diamond Art Club and Diamond Art Club only. And we are seeing them add shades of purple and pink into that range. I've also seen gray and brown as well. So I imagine this canvas will probably have at least some purple, if not some pink. So be on the lookout for that. Again, when you take a look at the actual sneak peek, the creator will go over where all of the special diamonds are for you. I am just guessing. The next one, now this one is artwork from Chrisabug. I will pop up the name of the sneak peeker for this image now. This is the beautiful original artwork here. That moon is just glowing. Let's take a look and see what special diamonds will be in this kit. So first off, it says channel luminous lunar rivers to pour, th pour forth, caressing you in their magic. Summon a spell to wake the silent forest with hands that weave the fabric of night. It's titled Moon Magic by artist Chrisabug. It measures 22 inches by 34 inches or 55.8 centimeters by 86 centimeters. So it's going to be a tall one. Square diamonds with 40 colors, including one AB, two iridescent and one fairy dust. Now the iridescent, if you don't know, that is the same thing as a crystal. It's just the word Diamond Art Club uses to describe it. So we've got one AB, two crystals, one fairy dust. Let's take a look at the rendering. In images like this, typically that crescent moon will have iridescent diamonds in it. It does look from the screen that it's it's got some white and yellow or cream color in it. So we might even see two different iridescent diamonds in that area, though I'm not quite sure if, if that is the case. I imagine part of the moon that is kind of dripping down, those areas probably have some iridescent as well. Could even have some ABs. Those little stars in the background probably have an AB. Could be fairy dust too, but usually they are ABs. And then maybe her dress has some fairy dust. I noticed that the kind of outline on her blue um, kind of shawl is quite a lot brighter than the original artwork. At least it just looks like it to me. And I wonder if they've put some fairy dust in there just to make it shimmer a little bit more. That is my guess though. You can't go wrong with Chrisabug. I love her artwork as well. Now this little guy, when I saw this preview, I just, my heart melted. I got the warm fuzzies inside. 
This little guy is just so cute and that bed looks so darn comfortable, doesn't it? It looks warm, it looks cozy. I, I wouldn't want to leave at all, especially not with a puppy like that in the bed. Let's take a look at what is said about this image. So it says, curl up under the covers in a sun-kissed room. Await the return of a gentle friend measuring time in candle flickers. It's titled Cozy Puppy by Eau Claire Studio. It is going to measure 35.4 by 23.6 inches or 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. It's a big one, you guys. And of course, it's going to be larger in width. It's going to come in square diamonds with 73 colors, including four fairy dust. Now let's take a look at the rendering. I've seen this question come up this week. What does rendering mean? If you look at the bottom left of this image, it says rendered artwork. So when you hear that term, it refers to the what the image is going to look like when there's diamonds down. So when you're looking online, it refers to this image here. The first one here that I show you, this is considered the original artwork, and then this one is considered the rendered image. Now, where would they put the fairy dust? I'm, I'm pretty certain they would probably have some in the candle flames just to make it shimmer a little bit, since it does kind of stand out and is a little bit glowy. I would wonder if they've added some white fairy dust on the puppy where the light is reflecting off of his fur maybe even in the reflection in the window or on the back of the wall where it's uh, reflecting off of, maybe even in the lamp there, the light that's coming out from the lamp, uh, maybe in the bedding, I don't know. I do not diamond paint images like this or I haven't in the past, so I'm not quite certain where they would really put the special diamonds. Special diamonds usually go in areas where where it kind of pops or where you want to draw your eye to or where kind of light changes. So maybe even on some of the pillows, we might see a fairy dust. I'm really not sure on this one. Now, the person who's done this sneak peek is Crafts with Crashly. So she has joined the sneak peek team a few weeks ago now, maybe even a few months ago, but um, she also has a small shop, a little shout out for her. She sells decorative release papers and she's a small shop in the USA. So check her out as well. But she's also started doing Diamond Art Club sneak peeks. I will link her video in the description box below make sure to check it out and find out where those fairy dust are because I am wondering as well I don't like watching I actually I do not watch any sneak peek uh, before I film this video so I go back after and then I I, I check and see if my guesses were right and I silently um, <laughs> go hooray this image, this one caught my eye. Of course, all of the purples drew me in. The beautiful flowers, the Celtic knot, that's uh, my heritage is Irish. And then the beautiful, I believe they're moths. I don't think they're butterflies. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but they are beautiful, especially these two on the bottom. Those ones are absolutely gorgeous. And that book on the bottom too, all of those bright colors, it just, it, this is a pretty image. This is one that will definitely go on my wish list. I tend to like to buy in twos. That way I can uh, qualify for sh free shipping since I am in Canada. But um, sometimes if there's an image I have to have, I will get it. And I'm still on the fence with this one only because I'm supposed to be working through my stash. And <laughs> that is why. This one says, concoct your potion of dreams strictly by the book. Stir the cauldron of imagination, unlocking its enchantments with blooming roses and the fluttering of colorful wings. It's titled Witch's Brew by Ashwood Arts, Bridget Ashwood Art and Publishing. It's available in 22 by 28 inches or 55.8 by 70.6 centimeters. Again, I find that is the sweet spot for diamond paintings. It's the perfect size. It's also going to be round, which is awesome for all of you round lovers. There are 67 colors, including two ABs and four fairy dust. Now, this image has a lot of areas where special diamonds would look great. I'm sure that they have probably put an AB in the smoke coming out of the cauldron since it is kind of glowing white, possibly even in the Celtic knot on the cauldron itself. This uh, moth at the top it looks like he's outlined in white. I would, wouldn't be surprised if that was a special diamond. I do wonder if the purple background where we have the lighter areas may have some fairy dust in there. Usually in flowers we see fairy dust, so maybe there'll be some in there. 
I would imagine these moths also are a perfect area for fairy dust, especially these bottom two. They are just so beautiful. And the books as well have a lot of areas where you could add special diamonds. In the second book, all of these white elements would look good with um, a nice fairy dust color. And then the bottom pink one too would look beautiful as well. Absolutely beautiful. I will pop the name of the sneak peeker up on screen if I do know it. If anytime I say this and what you see says unknown, that means nobody posted the sneak peek at the time I uploaded my video. So um, just check the description box because that's where you'll find the most updated information. Let's look at the next one. This one also, when I saw this artwork, I smiled. I thought this is so pretty. If only a dog could look like this in real life, wouldn't it be beautiful? I think so. Let's take a look at what it says. Marvel at Penny, psychedelic swirls and radiant hues. With a calm and confident demeanor, she carries petals of color and cuteness everywhere she goes. This is titled Penny the Pretty Poodle by Peggy Collins Gallery, available in 25.6 by 25.6. So it's a perfect square, or if you go by centimeter, 65 by 65. It's also going to be in square diamonds with a painting with this much detail. It really needs to be in square. It's going to have 51 colors, including two ABs and four fairy dust. I absolutely love the fairy dust diamonds. They are so easy to work with. I love that these paintings are coming out with more and more fairy dust. This painting probably has the special diamonds charted throughout. Obviously the background is probably black. Maybe, maybe they've made it a few different dark colors, but to me on screen, it looks like it's going to be all 310. That is a good example of color blocking where you have big blocks of the same color. You can use your multi-placer and move through that section very quickly. Now, the puppy itself is going to be full of confetti. That means that you have more color changes in a small area. You'll probably be using your single place placer mostly or maybe like a uh, a four max multi-placer. These areas usually go by a little bit slower. The colors in this puppy are just so gorgeous. I can't even begin to guess which colors have special diamonds. I'm seeing a lot of kind of light blue pots. So I'm, I wonder if we will see a light blue fairy dust. We're probably gonna see some pink fairy dust, some green fairy dust. I'm seeing pops of like a bright green. I believe I said there were two ABs. Sometimes they do put ABs in the white part of the eyes. Maybe even the whiskers of the dog. Those look like they're kind of standing out. So maybe there. There is a lot of royal blue kind of looking in the puppy. I wonder if they would do an AB, an AB in that color or maybe the pink an AB, the darker pink. This one is going to be chock full of beautiful, probably very cohesive and very blended special diamonds. I also love the size of this one. I think that's manageable. A lot of Peggy Collins artwork tends to be very big, at least in the past. So I love that we are seeing a smaller image for those of us that like working on smaller images. But she is just so adorable. She brings so much joy to my my being. I feel so happy looking at her. I am going to post the name of the sneak peeker up on the screen now. And let's move on to the next one. This is the next beautiful image. This one ought to be a giant one, you guys. Let's take a look. This is the original artwork here. Isn't that beautiful? We've got kind of an, well, not kind of, we have an above water and a below water landscape all in one painting. The colors in this painting are beautiful. I love sunsets in art. I think the colors that, that come out of a sunset are just so beautiful. Let's take a look at what it says here. So this one says, cross the bridge where worlds collide far below the blazing sky. The stories of old sailors are etched in every wave. The title is Sunset Crossing and it's by artist Will Cormier. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, us Canadians tend to say certain letters differently than Americans. This one is going to, as I guessed, be a big one. It's 27.6 by 40. 4.5 inches, which translates into 70 centimeters by 113 centimeters. So this one is going to be super big. It's also square diamonds. It's gonna have 63 colors, including four ABs and three fairy dust colors. That is a lot. 
Let's take a look at the rendering here. That is beautiful. I just want to go back again. Wow. The colors, you know, sometimes I find when it is rendered, maybe because it is more, um, I guess it is pixelated, things seem to stand out a little bit more, at least to my eyes. This is beautiful. So where would they put the special diamonds? That is a great question. Now, often in water, there are special diamonds, probably all of the whites on top of these waves have a bees at least, if not fairy dust in them. I would imagine there might be even some blue fairy dust or a bees in the uh, top of the water there, maybe even down underneath the water, maybe even at the bottom there where the, the, um, the ocean bed is kind of glowing a little bit from the reflection of the light through the water. I would not be surprised if there is some special diamonds in the sunset itself with all of those pretty colors. That would really make it pop. Um, there's also two waterfalls on either side of the cliffs here. I would bet that there is at least fairy dust in there. Then the lighthouse, that light shining at the very top, I wonder if it would have some yellow ABs in it just to make it glow a little bit more. Uh, for this kind of painting, I would, I would imagine that all of the special diamonds are blended very cohesively throughout the painting, maybe even some in the greenery on the cliffs, just to make it stand out a bit more. But that is just beautiful artwork. I will post the name of the sneak peeker up on screen now. And again, their sneak peek will be linked in the description box of my video. Let's take a look at the next one. Wow, this one is absolutely gorgeous. This one ought to be another giant one. And look at all of those colors. This is another one of those like uh, Where's Waldo type paintings where there's so many different elements. And you can find probably all sorts of little treasures when you're doing this diamond painting. This one would be a fun one to watch the sections come to life the more you diamond paint. Let's take a look at what it says. It says, enter the wizard's realm where the mysteries of the universe unfold. Under the watchful eyes of owls, the gears of time turn in sync, guiding glittering planets and magical tides. The title of this is Wizard's Spell and the artist is Steve Sundram. It's available in 37 inches by 27.6 or 94 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It will be in square diamonds and it's going to have 88 colors, including five ABs and three fairy dust colors. Now, this diamond painting is going to have special diamonds all throughout it. They are really going to be blended nicely and probably very cohesively. Five ABs and three fairy dust. As to where which one is, I have absolutely no idea. However, all of this kind of a yellow gold sparkle is probably an AB because I find that the ABs tend to be in places where it's just really bright. So I would uh, imagine maybe it was there. Some of the yellows in the um, kind of ornament, ornamental designs on the roof of this building over here or temple perhaps have some of the ABs. Around the wizard, there is a lot of white glow. Uh, around the orbs he is holding as well. Maybe there are some ABs in there. The potion bottles at the bottom are quite bright, perhaps in there. And then fairy dust. I imagine we're probably going to have a pink fairy dust at least. Maybe the two birds are going to have some fairy dust in their feathers. There's lots of green and blues in this painting, so perhaps we'll have some fairy dust there as well. Such a stunning painting. I can't wait to see this painting worked on. Uh, it isn't one that I will be purchasing just because I, I really cannot manage a painting that large, but it is so beautiful. I can't wait to see it come together for sure. Next here we have uh, this beautiful artwork. This is gorgeous. I remember seeing this in the voting and I loved it because of all of the beautiful colors. I think they complement each other really nicely. Plus, she's a cute little witch sitting on a cute little pumpkin with a kitty in her lap. 
who can go wrong, right? It says here, linger in crisscross applesauce with a, satisfi with a satisfied smirk. Cast a spell of sparkling smiles and pumpkin spiced magic across the shimmering pastel skies. This is titled Blushing Moon by artist Molly Harrison. It's going to measure 22 by 29 inches, which is 55.8 by 74 centimeters. It's going to be in round diamonds with 72 colors, including four ABs and three fairy dust. Let's take a look at the rendering. Lots of these diamond paintings have tons of color in it. This image actually, I wouldn't have guessed there were 72 colors. I mean, there's lots of colors in here, but they uh, must have a lot of shading to get these colors just right, especially in the background there. For there to be 72 colors, it still seems, seems quite a lot for such an image like this. The background, all of those different colors all blended in. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some fairy dust back there. I wonder if the stars that we're seeing, maybe an AB um, at the bottom, they look a little bit more glowy too. Maybe they would be in an AB color. The pumpkin probably, if not fairy dust, he probably has AB, maybe in some of the orange areas just to make that brighter part stand out. And then of course his eyes and his nose perhaps would be in a yellow AB just to make it um, shine a bit brighter. She is wearing lots of different colors on herself. The bows probably have some fairy dust, if not AB in them as well. The flowers too, perhaps even some of the colors in the hat. Again, I think this kind of painting will probably see them blended throughout, especially since there are four ABs and three fairy dust. That's quite a lot. But look at that image. Isn't that, isn't she just so cute? This one is definitely going on my wish list. I may pick it up as well, but for sure on the wish list this week. The person who has this sneak peek is Sophie uh, or the Diamond Help Desk. And this one is actually the fi final image we will talk about here by Miss Butter D. She is one of the most popular artists recently at Diamond Art Club. They've been releasing a lot of her artwork and her artwork tends to sell out as well. This image is very cute. It's also quite detailed compared to some other images she has released. It kind of has like a yellow or neutral overtone or filter on this photo too, making some of the colors like it's almost like a little bit more dull rather than, you know, bright and out there. Kind of muted, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Let's see what they said. Step into a quaint nursery where the magic is in full bloom. Use your powers for good. Whatever flower you pick will provide powerful luck in your day. The title is Witch's Flower Shop by Miss Butter D, available in 20 by 28 inches or 50.7 centimeters by 70.6 centimeters. It's a round diamond painting with 64 colors. That's awesome. I love having some round diamond paintings in my stash. I actually like, and I've said it before, going back and forth between a square and a round. It just switches things up. It's going to have 64 colors and there will be four ABs and three fairy dust. That's a quite common number of special drills during this week here. So four ABs and three fairy dust. Let's look at the rendering here. So the rendering and the original artwork looks nearly identical there. That is such a cute image. I like images like this where there's lots of fun things in the painting that will come to life as we are uh, diamond painting it. Lots of pinks as well, which is very common for her artwork. As to where special diamonds will be, well, I'm certain that the little kind of white sparkles on the flower at the front and then behind the witch's hat probably have some white AB in it. It looks like the um, background or the archway is has quite bright light coming through there, so perhaps we'll see some there. The reflection on this witch's glasses as well probably has some special diamond, I would guess, just to um, kind of mimic that, that glare that you get with light. I'm certain that there's probably some pink fairy dust in these flowers, maybe even a bee. And we have some yellow elements too, that there, there, there may be some golden fairy dust colors. I have seen those before. This one again is probably just gonna be very cohesive. There's not like direct areas where like my eyes are immediately drawn to. It's a, it's, it's, it's a full image. And I think again, we're gonna see the special diamonds blended really nicely throughout. 
Uh, the person who has this sneak peek is, of course, Diamonds and Washi, and I will have her sneak peek uh, linked down below as well. Now, all of these diamond paintings I've shared with you today are going to release tomorrow, February 24th, which is Saturday. As far as I know, the release times are the usual, which is 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 10.30 a.m. Mountain, 11.30 a.m. Central, and 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you are part of the Diamond or Ruby Rewards tier at Diamond Art Club, you do get 30 minutes early access, or VIP access, we call it. Remember, you do not need to wait for Diamond Art Club to send you that VIP email. You can sign into your Diamond Art Club account right on the website. When it hits the hour, refresh the web page and you should see those VIP releases. There's usually a, I believe it's a pink bar up at the top of the screen and I click on that to take myself to the VIP releases where you have a chance to purchase them. Now, if there are paintings that sell out during VIP release, don't forget the Diamond Art Club does hold back some stock for general release. However, if things sell out in VIP, they tend to sell out even faster in general release. So you will want to be prepared for that. And if, if you can't get it in general release either, be sure to sign up for email notifications. Often diamond paintings that sell out at release time, especially very quickly, Diamond Art Club does send them for um, somewhat of a rush production. They usually restock it sooner than usual because they really do want all of us to have the diamond paintings that we want. It is hard for a company to guess the interest in a painting, especially with some of these paintings probably being produced six months ago or longer. Be sure to let me know in the comments which diamond paintings you are planning on picking up this Saturday or which ones you are adding to your wish list. Again, another week of amazing releases. I do feel like I am probably going to at least add this Miss Butter D painting to my wish list, if not purchasing it. I am a collector and I do usually get all of her artwork, but um, I do have quite a stash right now, so I may add her to my wish list now. There is a risk in that because we never really know if Diamond Art Club is going to restock images. There are many reasons why they may not, but I have a feeling her artwork is so popular that it will be restocked. I often don't make my final decision until Saturday morning when the releases are dropped on the website and I go take a look and then I kind of make the final decision. Am I going to buy or am I going to wish list things? Again, don't forget to check out the links in the description box of the video to take a look at each sneak peek. Show all of the Diamond Art Club sneak peekers some love. Don't forget to give their videos a thumbs up and leave a comment if you can. I am sorry that I was only able to, um, you know, share my voice and not my face this week. But hopefully next week goes a little bit smoother for me. I really appreciate everybody that is here that has tuned in and has watched this. The feedback so far has been great. I am so happy and so grateful that you guys enjoyed the first one. I hope you enjoyed this one. I do plan to continue and do this every week and have it posted Friday afternoons for you guys to enjoy. If you made it to the end of this video, why not leave me a little diamond emoji? Let me know you got to the end. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join our little community. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do post a new video. And until next time, happy diamond painting everyone. Good luck tomorrow with your Diamond Art Club purchases. Bye!